Excuse me, Abigail. Oh, the mic. Lovely sermon as always. Thank you. Um, I'd like to talk to you. I won't take much of your time. Okay. Hope there's no problem. No, 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 no. Not at all. Okay. Um, can we sit? Sure. I've been putting this off for some time now, but the Holy Spirit will no longer entertain my excuses. That sounds serious. It is. It is. Um, I have received several ministrations that this is the will of God. What is the will of God? You, Abigail. I have received revelations that you are the will of God for me. You are the woman I meant to spend the rest of my life with. The bone of my bones, the flesh of my flesh. Um, I hope you don't mind if I pray about this, you know. Seek the face of God and hear from him concerning this. Of course not. I would expect nothing less. Yeah. I will see you at church for midweek service. Okay. Alright. Bye-bye. Father, we thank you for the journey so far. We thank you for the solemnization of our matrimony. We pray that as our bodies become one, you bless the fruit of our bodies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Thank you. Good morning, darling. Who picks up for? Mm -hmm. Okay, we should um, should be getting ready for church now. Today's Thanksgiving service. Have you forgotten? Let's get ready. Let's not be late, please. Yeah, let's get ready. You're not ready yet. Uh, I forgot to put this dress off when we got back from the wedding last night. Now it's rumpled beyond repair. You know what? Just go and take your bath and prepare. I'll, I'll sort this out. Oh, are you serious? Hmm? Thank you. That's so sweet, darling. Darling, I was thinking. She could have said, wait. You need to stop calling me that. Calling you what? Darling. You don't like it? Okay, I'll change it. What about my love, honey? Those are worldly names. So what do you want me to call you? Exactly what I am. Your husband. You want me to address you as your husband? Sorry, my husband. What is wrong with that? Nothing, if that's what you want. It is. You wanted to tell me something. What is it? I can't remember. Are you sure? Yes. My husband. Door will open. You never thought about it. 
You never plan for it, but you open this afternoon. Let me help you with that. Uh, don't worry, I got this. I'm going to learn to not ties. I want ties in secondary school. Oh. Yeah, plus my father was forever struggling with it, so <laughs> I got better by helping him. Interesting. Is that for me? Yes, my husband. That's so thoughtful. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> okay. Let me walk you to your car. Um, there's no need for that. I'm sure they are. You know, you can prepare for work or something. No, it's fine. I mean, I, I resume by nine and I have ample time. I'm sure there are more important things you can be doing than walking me. So, what's more important than walking my husband to his car? Studying the word. Praying. <sighs> You're right. My husband. Have a nice day. i work. See you in the evening. Bye. Bye. Hello? Yes, ma. Yeah, mm hmm. Which ones? Yeah, I'll just take notes of them, so I'll send them to you. Yeah, we have the um, oil on canvas and charcoal on canvas as well. Yeah, money tools are available too. How many pieces? Four, okay. Okay, then there's the um, fantastic realism as well. How many pieces of that? Okay, mm hmm Yeah, those are the prices now that I sent to you. Yeah, okay. I have to give you lots of disc discounts. Yes. Yes, ma. Okay, okay. I'll just send them over to you by maybe, say, 4, 5 p.m. Is that fine? Okay, ma. Okay. Yeah, we have those ones, too. The ones you saw the last time you came. Okay, ma. Okay. How many of them? Okay. All right, ma. Yeah, I'll send them. All right, take care. My regards to the kids. All right, ma. Bye. Mm. Adi, Adi, eh, mi Adi, eh, look where you find. Eh, this morning it's good for your body, no? Good morning, Stella. Good morning. How have you got there? I've been wearing presents for you. Aww. Take no. 
friends. Yeah, me party no vex, so sad not able come. You say me tell you say me cousin they wear that we can I make no more. Do I beg? I remember. You know vex by me It's fine. Thanks again. Thanks for the gift. Thank you. But you say we don't can work so. Nani I go honeymoon? Honeymoon is for lazy people. My husband and I are two very busy people. Look at you more sweet, but it's on me or spam me or spam. I really, really, really happy for you. But I pray about me, God, may He bless you, Mammy, He bless you, Margaret. May give you beaucoup, beaucoup money. May give you beaucoup, beaucoup treat again then. But then I did pray for you. Amen. Eh, Thank you. Okay, you're fine. Okay. I go. This is a Monday. I need to go today for all summer market. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay, Thank you. Eh, I, I remember. You get one bobo we come on Friday. We not come. Na at least. But I don't ever see him for here no more. But you say they come back. At so, least actually. The artist. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, come, yeah. Um, okay, I'll okay. be expecting. Okay, hey, fine. My guest, sweet. So, <laughs> Adi. All right. I can't, yeah. I'll, I'll see check you later. later. Okay, okay. Okay, dear. mama. All right, bye. Please, can you tell me my bodies? It's about Lagos, basically. The lifestyle yeah. in Lagos, as you can see. The hustles, you know. And it's mixed media because it has the um, newspaper. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's not just ordinary canvas. Mm -hmm. It has newspaper. It has the um, acrylic on, on it as well. So, and it talks about Lagos. You know how Lagos is the light issue from the cables here and everything, and the hassles. There's a bus here. You know how Lagos is. There are people generally. It just it just talks about Lagos. How your life is. Yeah, how life in Lagos is, and. Yeah. I think I'll take this one. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I like this one, so we make arrangement to bring it to my office. Yeah, I'll send it later today. Mm. Yeah, as soon as you send my check, as usual. I'll do that. Okay. Maybe once I need some other work, so I'll let you know. No problem, no okay. problem. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Much. Now, and the meeting of my heart, O oh Lord, be acceptable in thy sight, my Lord and my Redeemer. If I pray with thanksgiving, in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome all of you in the name of our Lord and precious Savior Jesus Christ. People are even hungry when they don't work. They rely on the husband income. So when you take away the husband, you have messed up the presence of that lady in the mighty of you. <sighs> you startled me. Oh, please forgive me. I saw you, you were so caught up in the That's sermon, right. I felt it would be a sin to interrupt you. Pastor K has that effect on people. His anointing is on fleek. Oh, you know Pastor K? Very well, very well. I was actually at his last crusade, you know. I'm still operating oh. on the anointing from that service. <laughs> What's a coincidence? Pastor K is my pastor. Oh. Yes. But you don't strike me as... As a Christian. Or someone that would know Pastor K. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, please. Forget my dressing, okay? I'm a born-again Christian, and I'm proud to say so. Though I worship in a different church, Pastor K is one of my favorites. I love listening to him. Oh, I could get you some of his videos if you'd like, Mr. Oh, sorry, forgive me. Ralph. Oh, oh. Abby, I'm the manager here. Great, 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 great. I was here on Friday, but the gallery was closed. Oh, you're the guy Stella spoke about. Stella? My neighbor. Yeah, my oh, neighbor. yes. The lady that was nice enough to come out and speak with me. Oh. Happy married life, by the way. Thank you, Mr. Ralph. Just Ralph, please. Just Ralph. Okay. And yes, these are for you. I just moved here, heard great things about your place, and I said I'd come show you the new pieces I made. Oh, let's see what you've got. Okay, allow me. There you go. These are lovely. You like it? Yes, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> we'll showcase them. How many have we got? I've got four. The rest are in my car. Okay, okay. Um, you know what, just bring the rest and I will take them in for proper evaluation, if you don't mind. No, oh, sure, sure. Let me just okay. drop this over here. You can just put them there, yes. Okay. And then I'll go pick up the rest. I'll be back right now. Okay, okay. Hello. My husband. How's your day going? Great. How's yours going? I'm on my way home. Do you want me to pick up anything for you on the way? 
Um, I was thinking of stopping by the market after work, uh, but I still have two hours before I close. Um, that's fine. Just send me a list. Really? Are you sure? Of course. I'm waiting for it. Okay. Um, I'll send it to you. Thank you, my husband. <laughs> okay. Bye. I thought I had the door. Welcome on the go. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making dinner. Ah. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in that case, let me go upstairs, change, and come assist you. No, no, no. You just go upstairs, take your bath, and get ready to eat dinner. I'm almost done. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. My husband. <laughs> This is really good. Thank you. We have new neighbors. I saw them moving in when I was returning from work. Yeah, I was wondering with the furniture and the car. Hopefully they are godly people. Hopefully. So, we have this new artist at the gallery. His work is so amazing. That's like, nice. You should see his drawings. It's so deep at his work. It's brilliant. Mm. Where's he from? I don't know. I'm not sure. But he's really good. Like, his work is so personal. You can tell his strengths are the story from every drawing he has. Oh. Beautiful. What's his name? Uh, Ralph. The mm. name mm. is falling. He said, oh, my daughter is having a wedding, so we have to prepare So I can't come because we are busy. Busy? You see, he's mm. responding to the season by his personal life. So by the time he is ready to come and plan, it's how much everything has become very difficult. People who live according to their dreams and what to do, they don't make much progress. Mm -hmm. When I'm married, I have my children. When I have my children, I build my house. When I build my house, I have I, 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 I move on with my career. Then after I retire, then everything is mine. Life is not structured so often like that. A door will open. You never thought about it. You never planned for it. But you open this afternoon. The need to very expensive. Otherwise, that same door shut. Boom. And so when the door shut, you can shut for seven years. Or sometimes when it shut, it will never open. Um, uh, Abigail, you're, you're, you're choking me. There's no space on the sofa for both of us. I'm sorry, my husband.
the next time you spend so much time making up, I'm going to leave you. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, try it. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to come to your office oh. with no panties on. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and to <laughs> men to leave in the heart <laughs> of you. No, no, let's not do this. I have, I have a presentation. Let me... You know what? Maybe I should just come to your oh. new office. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. My, my bag. Like your bag. <laughs> I don't care about your bag. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Uh, Are you all right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Why? Why do you ask? I mean, you look so fierce, drumming your fingers against the table. Oh, <laughs> didn't even realize I was doing that. <sighs> it's just my fiance. She's driving me crazy. Oh, relationship issues. Uh, Sorry, I asked. No, no, no. It's... <sighs> It's okay, I need someone to talk to before I explode. <laughs> okay, so what's the problem? Okay, she's denying me all forms of physical contact. I mean, no kissing, no touching. She says I have to wait till after the wedding. She's right, you know, I mean, you're not married to her yet, so I don't see the need for that. No, I'm not asking to sleep with a woman. I could wait easily. I don't have any issues waiting until the wedding day, right? But I need to know that we're compatible where it matters most. Where it matters most? Yes. What does that mean? Sexual and emotional compatibility, Abby. That's everything. Well, at least for me, you know? I mean, a marriage without a vibrant sex life, you know, without uh, em emotional compatibility. It's just bland and, and, and meaningless. <laughs> what? Am I sounding too worldly for you? What? <laughs> I mean, the, the, the Bible preaches against uh... <laughs> sexual immorality and... Okay, fine. What if you don't stop at just kissing her? Hey, look. My self-control would put a monk to shame. Look, babe, I just need to know that the woman I'm about to spend the rest of my life with is as physically attracted to me as I am to her. I really don't think... Sorry, um, did you, did you want something? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, um, I just wanted to know how my, my paintings were doing. You're doing very fine. We sold to this past week. Oh, that's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I should better go finish the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you for listening to me, Vance. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. You look beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> thank you.
So I was thinking we could, you know, go to the beach or the park today. The weather is so nice. I have visitation today. It's fine. I mean, we could go later today. We could go to the cinema. Where they push nothing but sexual perversion. We're better off just sitting at home and watching TVN. I mean, we, we didn't have a honeymoon. I just thought we could honeymoon just something. for people of the world. Abigail, you need to cast your mind on things that will edify your soul. You know what? We're going for that visitation together. Maybe to help you keep your mind off this these worldly things. Yes, I think I think that's what we're going to do. Yes, my husband. Yes. Honey, do you think a couple should test for sexual compatibility before getting married? To be encouraging sexual immorality, no? But shouldn't a couple ensure that they feel a certain way, the same way in certain areas before getting married? The only thing intending couples need to know is that they are the will of God for each other. Every other thing is secondary. Abigail, where's this question coming from? Just thinking about the physical side of marriage. Sex is for procreation. Everything outside it is a sin. I understand, but... I mean... Couples have physical needs outside procreation. Honey. Abigail, I told you to stop calling me that. Um, that's, the, that's my way of expressing my affection. Besides, my husband seems really awkward. Hey, Abby. Good morning, Ralph. Ah. Ah, that looks really heavy. No, 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 I can handle it. Just tell me where to drop it. Oh, you could just drop it there. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe. All right. Ah. There you go. Ah. You can't imagine how glad I was when you called me and asked me to bring more of these. Yeah, your pieces are going so fast. The couple ordered more of your paintings for oh, their new home. That's gratifying. Yeah. So how have you been? Good. How are you? Any more fiancé troubles? Oh my god. She wouldn't budge. That's called the whole thing off. Because of sexual compatibility. Oh. So you obviously weren't listening to me last time around. 
I'm not ready to damn myself to a passionless marriage. That's that's how you become part of a statistic. What statistic? Men who cheat on their wives. Wow. I'm serious. That's how adulterous men are made. Hmm? Yeah, can't get it at home, so they go outside looking for it. Why are you acting ignorant? I'm sure that you and your husband burn the sheets off at night, and you can't keep your hands off each other during the day. Come on. Sex is for procreation. What? That is a load of crock. Where'd you get that from? The Bible. Ah, uh, sweetheart. Sweetheart, okay, I've read the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible did I see that nonsense, okay? God will make sex so, so beautiful if you don't want us to enjoy it. Within marriage. True, which is why you need to get it right with your partner. So what if someone is God's will for you? Would you leave them because they're not sexually compatible with you? Oh, sweetheart, God's will for me would include sheet scorching, Toe curling, eye rolling, bomb sex. Because he knows me. It's non negotiable, really. <laughs> I've never seen your kind of Christian. I'm an enlightened Christian. Oh, really? So the rest of us are what? I mean, I can't speak for the rest of you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious. Call it an artist's curiosity. About what? Does your husband give you head? Head. Head of what? <laughs> Cunnilingus. I don't even know what that means. What's Cunnilingus? <clears throat> okay. The part of foreplay where he kisses you down there. Ralph! Does he worship your body with his lips and tongue? Does he kiss your inner thigh? Gently, before he takes you with his mouth. Does he kiss you behind your ear? The nape of your neck? The sensitive bit between your shoulder blades and your neck, like this? your shoulder like this what do you think you're doing does he i'm a married woman in case you've forgotten yeah uh i'm sorry i <clears throat> i got carried away i mean Looking at your face, the play of emotions. Has anybody told you you're so easy to read? You should leave. Yes, I guess I should. Please, please forgive me. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. What has gotten into you, Abigail? I want to make love to my husband. What was that supposed to mean? It's not a sin to make love to my husband, is it? That's not how it's supposed to be. 
You shouldn't be the one to... Initiate sex? Abigail! But I want to. I want to show you how to touch me, how to kiss me, where to touch me. And I want to know what it's like to have an orgasm. Jeez. You're speaking like... A prostitute. If I didn't know you were a virgin on a wedding night, I'd be thinking that... Thinking they... what? I'm human and that's how I feel. I want to be able to share my feelings with my husband. You know, you're beginning to sound like... You're sounding like Auntie Ami. Well, the only thing she talks about is sex and sexual education. Maybe we should just talk to her. No, no, you need to talk to God. You need to, you, you need to talk to God. You need to talk to God. Don't stop that stuff. She can scatter your head in more. In fact, I'll be praying for you. You need deliverance. I don't need prayers. All I need is talk. I need iron in my blood. Jesus. Ah! Father, Lord. Father, Lord, my God. He? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Okay, Abby, before you say anything, please, please let me apologize to you. Um, I was wrong to kiss you. I was wrong. I was a jerk. So please, forgive me. Where did you get this? I've been looking for this. I mean, the day you gave me Pastor K's books and his DVDs, you mentioned that book and oh. I made it a point to do it to get it for you. That's mighty nice of you. No one has ever given me chocolate. Really? I mean, no Valentine's as a kid, no teenage romance. <laughs> Not in my father's house. I mean, all I know about romance were learned from novels and movies, which I consumed in secret, by the way. <laughs> That's interesting. I, I would love to know more about your childhood, if you don't mind. Any siblings? Your parents? Um, I'm an only child. Uh, my mother is late. I have a question. I, I don't want to talk about myself. Fair enough. I'm, I'm listening. What can I do to seduce my husband? I mean, you're a man, so you would know. Yeah. Uh, well, it's diff diff different things for different men, you know? But for majority of men, it's a little flesh here and there would do it, basically. You know, for some, it's the way you dress, the way you move, the way you talk, the way you laugh, even, you know? And for some, it's blatant green lights on. <laughs> and others, it's the, the littlest things, really. Green lighting, what's that? Making very obvious signs about what you want. I've tried that. It didn't work. I mean, he feels like it's only sex workers that do such. I'm sorry, but is is everything okay? Like, are you having marriage problems? Enough about me. Thanks for the gifts. So really like this one. you like it, right? <laughs> yes. I'm forgiven, right? Let me think about it. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll just, I'll head out. All right, so I'll just. Okay. Immortal God, 
Invisible God. Sweet Jesus. Abigail, Ab 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 what are you wearing? Oh, this? <laughs> the weather is too hot for regular clothes. You could have been naked now. What if someone sees you? No one is seeing me in this but you. This is unacceptable, Abigail. What does it say about you? Do you like it? It's like something has gotten into you. You've changed, though. Our neighbors, they're having hot sex in this hot afternoon. Jesus. For God's sake, that's what couples do. They have hot sex in hot afternoons. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation. God, take this feeling away from me. Take it away from me. Don't give me this feeling that my husband can't take care of me. Take this feeling away from me. God, please take this feeling. God, take this feeling away from me. Take this feeling away from me. If my husband can't take care of my feelings, take it away, God. I don't want to feel this way anymore. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way anymore. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way anymore. Take it away from me. <gasps> How may I help you? Where is your husband? He's not home. Sorry, I don't I don't know you. <laughs> My name is Anu. I am your husband's aunt. I was out of the country when you wedded my nephew. Oh, I am so sorry. Please come in. <laughs> he has told me about you. Nothing flattering, I presume. Um. <laughs> Not to worry, okay? There's no need for the pretense. I am what they call the black sheep of the family. <laughs> can I get you a drink? Uh, no. But you can sit. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, since you and your husband refused to visit me ever since I came back, I decided to invite myself over. No, it's fine, Mom. I'm actually glad you came. Really? Yes. <laughs> that sounds permissive. Um, he says you're a sex therapist. Is mm -hmm. that true? Yes. I am a relationship and a sex counselor. An expert. Your husband thinks I advocate lose morals. Well, that's because you talk about sex. Yeah, but someone has to talk about it. Well, I talk about sex and all its pleasures that comes especially in marriages. Is everything all right, my dear? Um, there's 
something I would like to know. About sex? Fine. So, talk. Um, I don't know where to start from. Oh, my husband. Oh, yours worked. Good. It was good. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Yeah. Thank back. you. Yeah. Um, your, your aunt came around. You said you should call her. Uh, which, which of them? Aunt Anu. Oh. What did she want? Um, she said we didn't come stay here, so she decided to pay us a visit. Hope she didn't spend too long. I don't want you spending time with her. She seems like a nice lady. Stay away from her. Why? Because I don't want her filling your mind with things more than there is. I don't care. So when she comes here, I'm supposed to chase her away. Don't open the door. In fact, I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her and tell her to stay away from you. She's your aunt. And I know her better than you do. So Abigail, just stay away from her. Please, eh? Yeah, we would need, um, of course, oil on, ca on canvas or acrylic on canvas. Yeah, just exactly like the ones you brought last month. More of that. The same pattern. Not exactly, but it could be the same pattern. Uh, it should do for now. Okay. Yes. What time? Okay, okay, no problem. Alright, bye. What love making means to a woman. Dear diary, today I make a decision that I may live to regret but I am not sure I care anymore. I want to go buy a chin chin. Are they angry? Go buy. Go buy for you. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I don't want. No, please. I'm trying to win myself off that chin chin. Mm -hmm. Wait till I know. Who's going to go to the Not so long. I'm going to buy a can soon. Now you don't want to go chop and done. Don't just bring it here, please. I don't want to see it. Mm. I know you're ready. Come. Hello, Stella. Oh, God. Look what it's seen. I'm like, I'm Bobo. Hey. Who's side the poo come from? I'm uh, actually coming from the bank. I, uh, Go beg them money. You go beg them money. They give you. <laughs> you the last one. They don't give. Now for bring them more love share. Make you go around for all man. You don't get what I love. I don't look you hand up. Oh. When I keep me on, I can't just know ya. Yeah? Okay. I can't ya. Yeah? All right. Okay, Papa. Hello, beautiful. Good afternoon, Ralph. How are you? Doing okay. What's up with the bank? 
Oh, yeah, I uh, actually just left a meeting with uh, People's Bank's uh, zonal manager. Yeah, I just landed a contract to supply all their Lagos branches with artworks. What? <laughs> wow, that's huge. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So when is your lunch break? I brought this so we'll celebrate. Right about now. Great. Yes. So. So this contract, is it just paintings? Oh. Excuse me, I was getting to that. Um, it's paintings, artworks, and artifacts. I mean, your gallery could supply the artifacts. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you. You just made my day. No, you made my entire month. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. No, there's something on your lip. Oh, okay. Hey, I don't come. What's my not done the food yet? Tell me, oh no. Ah, no. Why would we do something like that? No, no. Come, come join us. I thought you were doing us to bring that thing here. Yeah, babe. I'm food I can't take now. Let me turn to another man in him. Ah, thank you. Hey, look me so. Are you going to be shop? Bye-bye! Take care. Yeah, so... <laughs> so, um... I'll update you with the details as they unfold. That would be great. Yes, that reminds me. Um, there's this private art exhibition on Friday, and I would love to invite you. That's if you haven't been invited already. I'll be showing some of my works there. Oh, um, the one at the Williams. Yeah. I was invited, but I don't. I would think. really, really, really appreciate it if you came. Why don't you invite your fiance? I told you already, we broke up. So, are you gonna come? It'll mean a lot to me. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Okay, you do that and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. We need to talk. Abigail, I really don't have time for this. Just take off that dress. I don't want to see you wear it or anything like it again. 
Of course. You don't have time for me, for your wife. You have time for every other thing but me. Michael, what is wrong with my dress? A married woman shouldn't be seen in such a revealing outfit. Now raise her voice at her husband. Revealing? Revealing what? I can see you're hell-bent on destroying this marriage. Maybe it's time we saw your father. Saw my father? And tell him what? How you embarrassed your wife in public? You're the one embarrassing me! You're dressing like a harlot and gallivanting around with men! Gallivanting around with men? Michael, are you accusing me of adultery? Look, Abigail, that, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Just take off this dress, please, and um, let's just end it here. I don't have the energy for this. Please. Me, gallivanting around with men. for me, for your wife. You have time for every other thing but me. Michael, what is wrong with my dress? Yeah, no. yeah, I need to see you. We need to talk. Okay. Michael Olushola Osaze. How is Abigail? Please, Auntie Anne, stay away from my wife. I don't need you filling her head with all these your new age ideas about sex. <laughs> new age? Would you rather be stuck with Stone Age, my boy? Please, just leave my wife alone. I beg you. Michael. Are you aware that your wife is suffering from sexual frustration? What are you talking about? It's sex food. You men are arrogantly clueless. Barely three months in marriage and you have already failed your wife? Is that what you, you, you told her? That I failed her? My God, I'm telling you, you can't be saying these kind of things to, 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 to... Oh, calm down, my boy. I didn't have to say anything, you see. What do you mean by that? Yeah, your wife told me that you're a good man, a good husband, a wonderful husband, that you provide very well for the home and assist in the home. But your emotional and physical relationship leaves a lot to be desired. She said that. Abigail told you that. How is it that you do every other thing right? but you fail at the most important part of marriage. That part would be? Making your wife feel loved and cherished, Michael. Giving her attention, pampering her, connecting to her emotional and physical needs, spending quality time together. Okay, tell me, when was the last time that you as a couple went out purely for fun? Michael, your wife is your first priority. It is all well and good to be moral. But what is the point when your significant other is not sexually and emotionally fulfilled? I mean, even the Bible speaks against 
couples depriving themselves of sexual fulfillment. Somewhere in 1 Corinthians 7, 3 to 5. But I don't deprive her of... You don't it. deprive her, yes. But do you ensure her satisfaction? That one is none of your business, Santiano. Michael Olushola Osaze. There is more you need to learn about a woman's body, specifically your wife's. What does that even mean? Can you honestly tell me that your wife reaches climax each time you make love? I mean, is she just a participant or an observer? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly the point. Have you ever asked your wife how she likes it? How she wants to be touched? I mean, have you asked her how she wants to be made love to? Have you asked her if she enjoyed it and climaxed before climbing down from that body? Have you? My dear, you need to schedule a meeting with me at the office. There is so much more you need to learn. Look, it is not a sin to be ignorant. However, what is a sin is knowing that you're ignorant and refusing to learn. Auntie, I don't, I don't have anything to learn from you. Uh, and please stop interfering in my marriage. Michael. You know I want the best for you. I'm a Christian like you, remember? Marriage is all or nothing. Physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, sexually. No half measures. Anything outside that will be caught in trouble, Michael. <sighs> Greet your wife for me. issue behind your ear, the nape of your neck, the sensitive bit between your shoulder blades and your neck. The items you requested for already. That's what I'm trying to put together. You look amazing. Oh, you like my dress? Thank you. I have one more for you here. Oh, this is this is stock. Can you help me out, Ralph? Please. Stock. Oh, I don't want to spoil the new. Take my breath away. God, stop me now. So I'm going to kiss you.
one minute, please. Please, have you checked the paintings? I don't care about that. You need to check to make sure your order is complete. I'm sure you put everything there. I'm sure. Listen, once I drop this off, I'm coming right back here. That's a promise. You okay? I'm not sure. What did we just do? Just made love. Did you enjoy it? feel this good actually it could be a whole lot better I don't believe you <laughs> you don't believe me mm -hmm. there's so much more I could show you <laughs> my 
phone. Just ignore, ignore oh, it. Michael, Ign Michael. What are you looking for? I cut it. It's right there. I was taking delivery of the new stock. Yeah, it's crazy here. I'll be home soon. Yes, my husband. Okay. I'll uh, give you a ride home. No, you don't have to. No, I insist. Let me go take my things. Okay. Ah. Uh, so, see you tomorrow? Yes. Yes. No, no, no. People are watching. Okay. Oh, it went well. You should consider getting an assistant. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've thought about it. Okay. Your dinner is in the microwave. Oh, thank, thank you. Just go. Father, we thank you. Thank you for being our ever present help in time of need. Thank you for being our pillar and our rock. We commit ourselves to your hand. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. Amen. Tonight I'm tired. This will be perfect for your study with the colors and everything. I know you like yeah, bright colors. It's perfect. Yeah. I trust your judgment anyway. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Sosaze. Um, hi. Am I are my orders ready? Um they're in the storeroom. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Um I do you want me to wrap this one or you want to look around for others? Um I'll actually like to look around first. Okay. okay. I want to go meet my artist, so when okay. you're done, you can yeah, call sure. me. Okay. What other were you asking for? I've missed you so much. There's someone in the show. I don't care. <laughs> I want you. Mm. Shh. 
Sorry, I haven't had time to call you. I miss you. <laughs> you know that was my first time doing this in the car. <laughs> Are you serious? Toilet too? No. Thank you, I'll pass. <laughs> okay, okay. I have to go, I have to go. Good night, I'll talk to you later. I'll go, I don't know. Okay, all right, good night, my love. Me, I swear, you know, they ever see that picky say he died. Ah, you know, they ever happen to me, sir. This kind of thing. <coughs> yeah, um, please, Stella. Hey, excuse us. Uh, okay, what's in the fine? Please, I'd like to talk to Abby. Huh. Stella, I'll call you. I'll propose with him now. So, why can't we continue? Okay. Is everything all right? sick and tired of this hide and seek game we play, okay? It's all or nothing. Ralph. I almost came to your place on Sunday. After I dropped you off on Saturday, I couldn't stop thinking about you. I couldn't even get any work done. I'm, you, I'm going crazy, Abigail. Mike, he doesn't deserve you, okay? Divorce him. I can't divorce him. What would people say? What would my father say? What about the church? So you rather continue committing adultery? <sighs> Ralph, don't say that. Marry me, Abigail, okay? Let me love you the way you deserve to be loved. To me, Abigail. Marry me, Abigail. Let me love you the way you deserve to be loved. Does he worship your body with his tongue and lips? The lightest of kisses down your inner thigh. The kiss you behind your ear. Or he takes you with his mouth. The nape of your neck. The blade. And your Abigail. Neck. Please, can you come downstairs? Uh, 
Abigail and I went through this journal and I... I can't do this anymore, Mike. I don't want to cheat on you. I have to give my desires an outlet. I'm so unhappy. So unhappy, Mike. I didn't realize it was that bad. And I, I'm sorry that I'm the cause of your unhappiness. I spoke with Auntie and... I and had to talk to somebody. Yeah, I'm not angry at all. That's fine. I'm, I'm glad you did. I am. You are? Yeah. I mean, speaking to her, it, it dawned on me that I had a warped understanding of the Bible, of how things should be between married couples. I mean, everything I, I knew about intimacy, marriage was what I learned from my parents, and now I realize it's not exactly the way to go. I tried to talk to you. And I wasn't listening. Not, not only to your words, but also your actions. And I am not ashamed to own up to my ignorance. Can I ask you a question? Anything, my love. Are you attracted to me? I mean, physically. <laughs> Abigail, I am, I am so attracted to you that sometimes it feels sinful. Sinful? Mike, we're married. I realize that now and I'm going to make amends. No more half measures, according to Auntie Anna. I, um, I have a question for you too. I'm, I'm listening. Did you really write these things? Yes. And I mean every word. Let me start with the third end entry. Yeah. Dear diary, I lost for my husband with everything in me. I wish to... Okay. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> but that's how I feel. Does that make me a slut? I, I hope not. Because that would um, make me a male slot since I, I want the same things. Are you serious? Okay, why don't we book a session with Antiano? Um, before that, why don't we? You know, try try out some of the things you wrote down in, in your journal. It, it, it sounds intriguing. Me and my wild imaginations. I, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to to like it, and I'm, I'm not ashamed to to learn from you. So, where do we start? First, 
we kiss like this.